guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well so today um let's just get into it i've got a hair tutorial um i've decided i'm going to create a new series on my channel you know just doing hair reviews and that and yeah so today i've got a hair review on this icy wig full lace wig or 13 by 4 lace wig and i'm just showing you guys everything that is contained in the box guys this is the mongolian um kinky curly hair in 22 inch and yeah so basically this this is how the hair looks like so guys some places i've had i over plugged as well as um obviously over bleached as well a bit but hey ho i'll just make it work at the end but this is how the hair looks like in its natural state obviously as you guys can see like i mentioned before this is the kinky curly so obviously it's more of a kinky texture so i'm starting off with the um bold stocking cap method okay so i don't i'm not going to be here and telling you guys oh i can do it perfectly because i'm also a new beginner i'm also learning so if you see what i'm doing basically it's just simple i'm good i'm using my got to be spray to just create obviously like it says a uh, bold method you know to make sure that the full lace looks more natural if that makes any sense After then I go in with the blow dryer and then I start cutting it after I ensure that it is 100% dry because obviously you don't want to cut it when it's not dry otherwise the whole um, stocking basically lifts. So yeah, I know I could have used the ghost bond for this guys but because I don't want to wear this wig um, long term or rather than more than one day basically i don't like to sleep in with my wigs so i just take it off at night so i'm not going to use the ghost bond because there's no point to it at that point in time so then i'm going to go and use my foundation and then i'm going to apply the wig so if you guys can see that the wig is slightly too light um so i'm going to go in obviously and um apply foundation but I'm just having a feel on how this wig looks like or rather looks like on my head so i went in with the foundation i feel in my opinion it looks much more better um yeah so i'm just seeing basically how it looks like and then i'm going in and starting to create um cutting the lace so basically this method was i've learned this method just recently and it made it makes it so easier um so you can dry section by section rather than the whole lace in one go if that makes any sense so i know before i said that i'm not using the got to be glue um or the ghost bond rather but um i decided to use the ghost bond for this method because i just wanted to see how it looks like before and like i said i know i'm fully aware that i over plucked in some areas but um i'm gonna make it work in the end and that's all that matters So then I'm just going to go in and tie it down while I start, um, obviously, start creating or start making the curls. But before I do that, guys, I need to go in and show you guys how the parting looks like, basically. Like I said, this is a 13 by 4 and basically the parting, parting space, there's not much. As you guys can see, from there on is tracks. So basically, it's just, you know obviously like i said hopefully next time if i order this i should get 13 by 6 rather than 13 by 4. so here i am just basically creating a part to see which one i like the most and which one i feel like will be more suitable for me and then i'm going to go in with a heat protector um, serum serum and i'm just going to apply this because i'm going to go in with my hot comb just to you know straighten the the beginning or how can i say that just straighten the hair at the edges just to ensure that i can blend it nicely and then that's when that's done guys this is now the part where i'm going to um section the hair section by section and i'm basically just um spritzing the hair now you guys will see that this is obviously puffed but once i go in and i start spraying the hair um to obviously activate the curls 
you will see that it is more it's really it's really nice guys and i have to say um for this you know i didn't use or what can i say i basically just used water as well as conditioner in the spray bottle just to get the curls the way that they are so i didn't use any curling um conditioner or anything like this just simple conditioner as well as water So when I'm done with that, I'm going to remove the band, obviously, and then I'm going to start cutting the lace. Now, for some parts, obviously, I still need to, I needed to cut more lace than required, but I did the rest off camera, you will see. So this is how the lace looks like. Um, that part over there, I still got a bit of glue, but hey-ho, it is what it is. And then I'm gonna go back in with my got to be spray because just to lay down the edges because I felt like they were a bit lifting. So I'm just gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna go in and start creating baby hairs. Now, obviously this is a personal preference really. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a professional when it comes to laying wigs guys. So please don't come for me in the comment section saying, oh God, this looks horrible. It is just me starting off trying out and seeing what actually suits for me. this is how it looks when I finished installing it guys so I'm gonna go off and do some makeup and then I'm gonna go in and start spraying once again and um, just to um, freshen up the curls you know just to give it more of a fresh look and as you guys can see this is how it looks like so the hair is damp at the moment and um, obviously it's gonna dry up and I get a feeling that obviously if once it dries up the hair it's going to get puffy because once again this is a kinky texture and if i didn't let you guys know this is 150 percent density so i didn't go for more than 180 there is 180 available as well as 220. so this is it guys all right guys so this is the end of the installment tutorial so i'm just going to run you guys through some specs of this wig that i purchased from um, a vendor called i see hair and um, like i said i showed you guys initially this is the kinky mongolian curly hair so i've got the 22 inch kinky curly hair i purchased this not from the initial website or the actual website i got this from aliexpress so so the hair cost me 126 pounds and it took about 10 days for it to arrive over from the time I purchased the hair so overall the hair like I said is kinky curly if I can show you guys actually where the hair reaches the length you could actually say it's bra strap however I do know that once the unit does dry or the wig does dry it's gonna obviously shrink up so that's that's the wig I'm just gonna tell you guys in regards to shedding I did get quite a bit shedding now the reason I might have gotten shedding quite a lot of shedding from this from this unit is because I tried to bleach the knots now this lace of this wig is quite a thick thick lace so I'm not sitting here and telling you guys all oh, the lace is amazing it is quite a thick lace in comparison to my other wigs that I have however it is manageable in my opinion so I use 40 volume developer for the hair I left it on for half an hour but it still didn't take so if you actually have a look at my unit I still got a bit of um, black knots here on my unit so overall I do regret using the bleach because I feel like once I use the bleach um, the hair started falling out so next time probably if I had to purchase this wig I wouldn't bleach the wig the lace rather I would just leave it the way it is now in regards to um, the frontal um, I got a 13 by 4 now that was my mistake i should have gotten you know a bit of more parting space because if you guys can have a look the lace actually ends right over here okay and then from here onwards it's just trucks so if you're gonna get a wig you know and you want a larger or bigger parting space i would not advise you to get the 13 by 4 um just get the full lace or maybe 13 by 6 actually 13 by 6 is also a good one because i feel i know that they say that 13 by 6 goes a bit longer rather than 13 by 4 but 
overall i really like this unit guys um so i'm gonna i'm gonna see how it actually looks um once it's all dried up as you guys can see the curls are quite curly but then i also realized it also depends on how you brush the curls now you use your hands to detangle it the curls are going to be much more tighter whereas if you use the net the denim brush the curls are a bit more looser if that makes any sense so basically i just used um conditioner in this bottle um, some conditioner and just some water and I used that and I spritzed it and then I went over with you know just foam you know just to keep the curls intact so from the brushing of the hair and from my brush this is how much shedding I got which is quite a lot of shedding but then again like I said to you guys it might be because I bleached the lace because that result basically in shedding yeah so I would definitely purchase this wig again however like I said this time around I'm gonna try and get more lace parting space I really want to get this unit but I want to try and see if I could get a, in a shorter unit so I could actually wear it to work because obviously anything below the album I can't wear to work so I'm gonna see if I could get this unit or if not I would just if this unit gets old I would just start cutting it framing it and yeah i'm also going to try and do some three twists with this here so i would give this unit a 8.5 out of 10 and reason for that is because of the lace like i said was a bit too thick for my liking and the knots were quite hard to bleach or maybe i just didn't do it correctly i don't know like, so guys i'm gonna leave every single aspect of this week down in the description box for below for you to go and have a look if you're interested so i hope you like this video guys Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye!